G'day, Sea Dog here. Welcome to my channel, my high school jewelry students. So I just want to explore with you a little concept called aspect ratio. So I'll explain by referring to this term using rectangles because that's a little bit easier. So if I've got a rectangle like this, which is much longer this way than it is this way, it's quite a long skinny uh, rectangle, that's got a different aspect, aspect ratio to one like this. So it's still a rectangle, it's not a square but it's closer to a square than that one. So the ratio of the width to the length on this one uh, is much greater than the ratio of the length to width on this one. On this one it's almost the same as each other, this one it's quite significantly different. So we can have this same concept as, um, associated with our links. So if I have a chain link and I wrap it around a rod, so that's my rod, and this is my the diameter of the wire. As I wrap that around here, that's going to get an aspect ratio of a certain size. If I have a much bigger mandrel that I wrap it around, like this, and that's my wire, and I wrap it around here, that's going to be a much more open aspect ratio because the size of the wire is the same but the size of the rod that I wrap it around to make the little spring uh, is much greater on this one so it's going to be an open, a more open chain and it's going to have less links to get the same length of, um, of chain to make the ring. If I change the diameter of the wire though that also will change the aspect ratio. So if I have the same size mandrel as this here, more or less, but I use a much fatter wire, so when I wrap it around, it's like that, the ratio between this circle and the mandrel here, between the wire and the mandrel, is much less. So I'm gonna get a much, much tighter ring. So on this ring here, that's a very tight aspect ratio. There's hardly any gap between the links. This one's much more open. Both of them are one and a half millimetre diameter silver wire. So both, it's a little bit like this. Both of them have the same size wire, but this one was wrapped, this ring here was wrapped around a bigger mandrel to make each link. And therefore we've got a bigger space between them. It's much more open. Uh, as I said, some people like that look. Personally, I quite like this tighter look here. Um, but that's up to you. So the, the two determinants for our rings here, for our aspect ratio, whether it's a tight ring or a more open ring, are going to be the diameter of the wire and the diameter of the mandrel. Now, both of these are one and a half mil wire. The only thing that changed is I used a fatter mandrel for this one. As I take you through the series to make our ring though, I'm going to use a thicker wire, a two millimetre sterling silver wire, to make our ring. And I'm going to do it more like a tight one. Okay, so I'm using two mil wire, two millimetre diameter wire. That means the mandrel size that I wrap it around has to be at least four millimetres from here to here because two wires have to fit inside that. I like to give myself just a fraction of wriggle room. So I'm actually using a mandrel that I've specially made up which has a diameter of 4.2 millimetres. So my just rule of thumb when I'm making these links for these, for these chains here, I'll give myself 0.2 mil, that's for a tight aspect ratio, a tight um, link. I'll give myself a 0.2 millimetre, 0.2 millimetre increase on the on two thicknesses of the wire. So if I've got my mandrel here and it's 4.2, I've got a 2 mil wire there and a 2 mil wire here. Not quite right, but you get what I mean. It will have 0.2 millimetre of gap 
between them so I can easily enough fit so they're not binding on each other when I put the two links together. So I'm going to have a link here like that. Then I'm going to have another link that goes through like that and another link that goes through like that and I've got my 0 0.2 millimetre space there. Okay, otherwise these two could easily foul on each other and that would not be good. So for a tight, for a, for a tight um, chain, okay, I'm going to give myself 0 0.2 millimetres of gap. For a loose one I might give myself a 1 mil gap uh, or something like that. Okay, so that's the difference between a tight chain and a loose chain. So on our next little video I'm going to just show you how to wind up the wire into a spiral so we can then cut off all the little circles off it. And those little circles are going to make our chain. Thanks for listening.